So COC or Conqueror of Completion is probably the most popular Vim completion tool and it has an absolutely massive array of plugins, but finding some of those plugins can be a bit annoying. So today what we're looking at is a COC extension to find COC extensions and it's called COC Marketplace. So there's a couple of ways we can open up the marketplace. One of them is to run the CRC list command without any arguments. Make sure you spell it correctly. And this will open up a fuzzy finder. Now, this fuzzy finder can be used to run a bunch of different commands. But the one that we want to run for today is just called marketplace. So once you press enter on that, it'll load up this interface. Now, depending on whether you have the list of extensions already cached or not, it will take different amounts of time to load. Generally, when you first open it up, though, it's going to take a couple of seconds to do. But I'd already cached it in a previous recording. So if we go and press escape, that will close the interface. And the other way that we can open this up is by searching for COC list and just passing in marketplace directly. And that will take us directly to the interface. Okay, so anything in this fuzzy finder that has a tick next to it, that's something that I already have installed. So as you can see, I have all of these extensions installed. And then anything that has an X next to it, that is something that I haven't installed. Now, I don't know if there's anything in this list that is like this that I haven't already installed, but anything that has an asterisk next to it, that is by the developer of COC and the developer of this extension treats that as an official extension. Now, because this is just a fuzzy finder, it works in a very similar way to something like say FZF. Let's go and search for something like, I don't know, Python. And as you can see, as we're searching for that, it's gonna try to actually match on that term we're searching for. Now, the other way that we can search is actually by just searching from this point right here. So if we just run a COC list marketplace and then pass in, let's say, Java. So as you can see, these are all the Java extensions for COC. Now this interface wouldn't be very useful if we couldn't go and install something. So let's say that we want to install the, let's go with the XML extension. So all we do here is go and press enter on this. And as you're going to see, it's installed successfully. So if we go and try to do the same thing, but on something we've already got installed, as you're going to see, give it just a second. So COC marketplace, there we go. Let's say that we want to try to reinstall my Vimtex extension here. So what it's going to do then is try to update. And as you can see, it's gone and updated and now it's installed successfully. Now, one thing you can't do with this, which would be really, really useful. I'm not really sure why it's missing is you can't go and uninstall anything. So that would be a really nice addition. Obviously, being able to install stuff like this is really, really useful. But having no method to do an uninstall it kind of makes it a little less useful. Now, by default, when you do a search in this extension, all of the results are coming from a website called npmjs.com. And if you've done any sort of work with npm in the past, you've probably come across this website. So if we go and search for coc dash, as we're gonna see, this is basically all of the same results we saw before. Now, one thing I did notice is it's not actually showing everything. So for example, coc dash helper. So if we go and search for helper over here, as we can see, that specific extension isn't actually here. And also over on the website, there seems to be 12 pages. Now, I don't know if every single one of these results is actually a COC extension. Some of them might not be, but I'm not sure what's saying what should be included in this list and what shouldn't be. Now, you don't just have to rely on npmjs to do your search. If you'd prefer, there is another option you can use as well called npms.io. So, I don't really know why this website actually exists. It claims to be a better and open source search for no packages, but I'm not really involved in like the web development communities or like the node community or the NPM community, whatever like that. I don't know why this website actually exists, but it seems to return basically the same results that the other website showed. So if you prefer to use this instead because you have some problem with npmjs, what you can do is go over to Vim and go to your COC config. And what we're going to do is set a value in here called marketplace.mpmsio. And we're going to set this value to true. So by default, it's going to be set to false. But if you go and set that to true and we quit out of this. So go back into Vim now and we do coc list marketplace. Now the results are going to be coming from a different website. As I said, though, I don't really know if the results going to be different. It seems like there's seven less extensions now so maybe there's some reason why that's not the default option now keep in mind this is a coc extension so it should probably be installed through the coc plugin manager so the way you do that is just running coc install and then the name of the plugin you want to install so coc marketplace and that will then go and install the marketplace 
Now you might be wondering why you might want to use this extension. So my biggest reason is that a lot of the COC extensions aren't really named in the most obvious way. So things like say COC XML, JSON, uh, HTML, Python, all of those are very, very straightforward. You can look at those and say, okay, I know exactly what this is adding support for. Or other things like say CSS and Angular. Those are very straightforward. You can look at them and say, okay, yeah, that's, that's CSS and Angular support. But if you want to do something like, say, add TypeScript support, you might think that it's just called COC TypeScript, but it's not actually called that. What it's called is COC TS Server. Or if you want to have, say, LaTeX support, that's done through a tool called Vimtex, and the extension is called COC Vimtex. So trying to guess what these names are is going to take you quite a while so it might be easier just to have a really filtered down list and see, okay, these are just the COC extensions. Here's something that looks like it might do what I want it to do. And then you can do further research from there. And also it allows you to find your COC extensions without actually having to leave Vim. So like with literally any other sort of package manager, it adds the ability to actually search for what packages are actually available. So you don't have to go to a website like say npm.js or GitHub. You can do everything directly inside of your editor. Now there are some reasons why you might not want to install this. So this is the case with regular Vim extensions, but even more so with your just regular system package manager. It's going to be quite rare that you actually want to install new COC extensions and even more rare that you actually want to change them out for something. So when you have, say, like the Python extension and the Rust extension, if you're just doing Python and Rust work, it's not like you're going to have to add anything else to it. Whereas if you're just looking at the regular Vim extensions, there are some extra extensions that can make those languages easier. But when it comes to just doing completion, once you have the completion tool, that's really all you need. And in a lot of cases, you don't really have a choice when it comes to the COC completion. So if we look at something like Python, Python is a pretty massive language and you have the Python extension. There are some ones for extra libraries alongside of Python, but if it's just for Python directly, you only have the Python extension. The same is true for another really popular language like Rust, or if we look at say Java, Java has some extra stuff for you know debugging and things like that and some extra libraries, but just for base Java, you have base Java and that's really all you need. Now, some things are an exception, things like LaTeX and C Sharp, because there are a couple of different tools that can be integrated into COC to actually do that support, but generally that's not the case. Also, you have to trust that what you're downloading is actually a COC plugin. So if you go and download it from somewhere like GitHub or NPMJS, you can always just go and look at the source code before you download it and make sure that it's actually what you're supposed to be downloading rather than some other random tool that's just going to inject some really malicious JS into your system. Now, this might be the reason why the list on here is considerably shorter than what's actually available on the NPMJS website. I'm guessing there are things in the list that aren't actually COC extensions that are labeled COC that are being filtered out of this list. But as I said, you sort of have to trust that if it is being filtered out, what's actually being filtered out is what's supposed to be filtered out. There might actually be things in here that aren't actually COC extensions. Now, I don't know if this one right here, COC-Twitch-Highlight is actually a COC extension. It doesn't really make sense as one. So this might be one where it's simply not actually a COC extension. Now, I don't think the COC user base is really big enough to justify anyone actually putting in the effort to make malicious COC plugins, but it is something you should always keep in mind just because the problem can always arise. Now, I don't want to make it seem like this extension is completely useless because it is kind of useful. However, unlike a lot of other systems, you're not really going to be switching out your COC extensions that often. So it's kind of hard to justify having a dedicated extension just for a COC marketplace. Now, if this functionality was actually built into COC, that might be a different story. So I think that's pretty much everything for me. But before I go, I would like to thank my supporters. So a special thank you to Chris, Joachim, Donald, Corbinion, Andre, Nathan, Montezar, Chico, Bento, Joseph, Pidity, Rode, Tony, Brennan, John, Marek, Mikel, Nate, Dog, Nephite, Poe, Tease, and Zilva. If you want to go and support, work them links down below to my Patreon, subscribe, sell, leave, pay, all of that sort of stuff. I've got my podcast, Tech Over Tea, available basically anywhere. And then this channel is available on Odyssey, Library, and BitChute if you want to watch on a platform that isn't YouTube. So I think that's pretty much everything for me, and I'm out.